Ladies, my question to you is this. Holy shit, bro. What just happened? Nothing, nothing. She was moving the mic. <laughs> okay, so my question to you guys is this, right? Why do women feel like getting the bag, getting the degree, becoming a doctor, becoming a lawyer is more important than having kids, mm. right? I just, just to piggyback off the subject we were just discussing, uh, we'll start off with you since you opened your mouth. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I guess it's just because women like to feel good about themselves. Like they like to feel like they're worth something. Like they like to feel like they got things going on for themselves. They don't like to have to depend on anyone else or like on a guy or like sounds like a man <laughs> <laughs> all right uh okay what about you go ahead um i think women like to do that before having kids because one they want to set like an example for their daughter or yeah for their daughter i didn't want to say son because we're talking about the mom right now so you want to set an example for your daughter because you don't want your daughter to grow up being like only depend on a man because yes i understand that you guys are saying like men are supposed to be the ones in charge and everything but you don't want to raise a daughter who like can't do anything, anything for herself like or have no type of goals for herself but to just depend on a man because i think like i know you're saying like the men are the ones in charge and everything but like sometimes the right people, men the right yeah, the right men, men. Yeah. Yeah. but it's not always good for a woman to just be like out here like with nothing to her like maybe. all right nastasha real quick you're at uh What's your club called? Blue Martini. Blue Martini. And you're making big, big money. Um, why is that more important than, uh, you know, trying to settle down, start a family? That is not more important. <laughs> like that, okay. You completely changed the question. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, in terms, most women in today's society are more worried about becoming successful than they are trying to start a family, which is why when she said mm -hmm. she wanted to wait, um, it, you know, she, she's obviously a hairstylist. She's probably starting to, uh, are you trying to start your own business or something? You said you were using social media, right? I have my own business back at home. Okay. Just trying to have like different multiple streams of income. So my thing is why are women so focused on that? Maybe because, okay. Like, like me, I want to be a housewife, but I am going to school to get my degree and stuff. But that's just in case, like something I have to fall back on. Like, let's say I do have a kid and like I'm with my man and he leaves. Like he has all the money he's providing for me. So I have something to fall back on. OK, what about you? Yeah, I just feel like women sometimes want something to call their own. Like we're so dependent on men. It's called babies. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, kids are really big responsibility. You don't really just live say for you yourself. want something that you call yourself your own. Yeah, you want... Okay, you call your kids your own. What about you? Go ahead. This one's going to be interesting. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. I personally think that it's um how you're brought up, how you're raised, yeah. Yeah. what you experience, what you see your parents experience. And I think that that's for me. Like, My mom was always very independent, very strong, and very, you know, like her dad. Or my Out of necessity, though. Yeah. Because but, just based off you saying that, I can tell that there wasn't like an actual man there to take care of what he should have been taking care of yeah so it's like survival mode yeah right but is that a good thing for women i think you can have a balance like i feel like if, if i was a dude i want my i would want my bitch to be bad like not just look sexy not just think that only fans is the only career that they're gonna have but actually have like a value you know like you're smart doesn't mean that you have to you know make your man look bad because you're smarter but i'm saying like if you literally do have two hustlers and you can feed off of my mind and i can feed off of yours and together it's like magnetic and we can come up with like ideas mm -hmm. to like keep on growing and continue to grow you know like i think that's that's a good goal okay All what right. about you mm -hmm. um i say i feel like okay I feel like when you have kids, even though you still, you should have your life settled before, because like at the end of the day, how are you going to provide for yourself and for them too? What the man? You, my man? Yeah. What if I have no man? Well, that's kids. the problem. That's a, yeah, that's a very big problem. My thing is, if you work hard to become successful and you're a doctor and you're a lawyer and you've gone to college for eight to 10 years or whatever it takes to become whatever you need to be, um, you've done that for nothing because most men aren't impressed by that. Yes, you're getting good, like good pay now wherever you are, right? Probably, maybe even not. Like I've seen someone go to fucking school to be a social worker and came out making forty k a year. So, uh, like fifty k in debt, making forty k a year—that's just crazy. 
Uh, my thing is like men aren't impressed by what you make. Men aren't impressed by the position you hold at your job. Mm-hmm. We're not impressed by any of that. I would be more impressed if a woman could cook me a bomb ass meal than what type of degree you have on your wall. Yep. And like I said, it would be a little unattractive if you're a doctor, you're a businesswoman, you're a lawyer. Yeah, why can't you both? It's hard. If you're a doctor and you're going to study to be a doctor, we have no time together. Exactly. Because I'm grinding. I'm hustling. You're hustling, too. There's no time for us to be together. Like, I get it. it, it you can make it work, well, but there's definitely no time for kids. It takes what the emotions saying, out of it. You what can't. if I just get my degree and then you make me a housewife? So, like, like God forbid you do leave me, I do have something. To okay, but about. same thing. Yeah. In the meantime, there's no time for us to bond. Yeah. There's no time for us to go out and date. Like, I can't do what I really want yeah. to. I like my girl to be accessible to me and exclusive to me. So if I want to take you out to dinner, be ready by seven. Yeah. You know that. what I mean? I, get that, but look, I work at the club on weekends, right? Like let's say Friday through Sunday, and I go to school. Okay. But I do I do do school online. So I do it on my own. So time. if you so were dating so if you were dating, all through the okay. week. If you were dating me right now, wait, you go to school like on, online. online? Like, I okay. do whenever do school whenever I want on my time. What are you going to school for? Criminal justice law. Okay. So you're doing school and you work on the weekends. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So when, so so you have time for me anytime I want. I'm with my girls every single day. That's not it's every like, day. But on the okay, weekend, you're not every. available, correct? I, yeah. Said, okay. I, okay. But I'm free so. on weekends. Huh? I'm free on weekends. I'm not free. I'm free on you know what's funny? That's, that's, that's how it is. You know what's funny? That's the only time we're free. Exactly. That's what I'm weekend. saying. Like, okay. And I'm free at different times on the weekends because sometimes I work in the morning or sometimes I work at night. Okay. But I have to balance do my schedule, right? Have, okay. And if you tell me to quit my job, I'm going to quit. Right, yeah. Quit but but, but, but I'm not yeah, but it, <laughs> quit that shit. But but quit even shit. but even then, like exactly. waiting to the weekend to see you is not ideal. But uh, you could see me Monday through Thursday, Monday, every, okay. like nonstop. I'm gonna work till four nine. Right, and 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 I get it. Like <laughs> maybe you have that job that allows you to do that. But most people that are going for real careers don't have that. Mm-hmm. Lawyers, doctors, yeah, architects. Right. They My don't. dad's a lawyer, and he, I swear, like he's home twenty. Twenty. But he's exactly. in his office. He, he's got to that level. He's how old is your, that how old is your big dad? money though? 50. Your dad's, big money. your dad's 50. Exactly. He's got to work his way up there. When he was 20, 25, 26. Also, men and women are different. That. Like, that's fine. He can do that. Like a, like, a woman's different. Like, for him to become that, he had to work his ass off for that. Mm-hmm. He, he, he only been in law for five years because he used to do everything else before. Okay, so. Like, so He does everything. But he had to be smart enough to get money? there, though. Huh? Does your father have money? He makes money. Okay, so he does have to work a lot. Okay. Mm-hmm. What were you she doing? drives an out. Shout out to the lawyers. Yeah. I'll, 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 I pay for different it, There's different professions out there. It's not always going to be a girl that you're meeting that's going to be a doctor, a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Or I'm a just saying, officer, in general. So, what would you, what would you rather, like, like, if your girl was, like, had a job or something? I, I wouldn't want my girl not to have a job. I'll provide for her. Cool. Cook, exactly. clean, be submissive. Period. Not every guy's like you, though. Not yeah. every guy makes money. Like, exactly. Like you're that. right. So, you better bet that guy and not... <laughs> And not, and not settle yeah. for these broke ass bums. That's your fault. Ladies, for for ladies, guys. he's he's speaking them. facts. You do yeah. understand there are guys out there that are willing to take care of you. You have to vet them. Mm-hmm. You can't let the first guy to talk to you get a chance with you. Yeah, and then complain about the first guy that yeah. talked yeah. to that you gave a chance to. So what if the girl's a doctor, a lawyer? She does have time. You still would not. She's masculine. Time? She her whole job is to be argumentative. How does she have time doing that? Like, because ah, yeah, if she's fifty, I'm saying, like, what if there is a girl and she's not super masculine? She's the like. That's the literally, it's not woman. possible. Somebody. Your your whole job is to be masculine. Because some people don't like turn to it bring it on their job home. That's why I'm telling you, like, I don't. You don't believe. like to bring it home. Right. It's gonna come out by yeah. accident. Yes, you can't. It, just a situation's it. gonna happen, and you'd be like, "No, I work. I do this and that, and this." You know, she's gonna try to be argumentative with it. And um, you're also talking about the small minority. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard for women to switch their masculine and like energy on and off. One hundred percent, man. I like you see therapists go home and talk to their husbands about shit all the time. That shit is not ideal. Um, any super chats, bro? Go ahead. 